That's an interesting clip from one of the most interesting matches going on in the Beijing Olympic Games. You're watching on the spot. I'm Tian Wei sitting in CCTV International's Tanggu Plaza studio. With me in the studio is one of those players in the matches that we just watched. We have uh, Natalia Pacica. She is one of the most wonderful table tennis players from Poland and a member of the Polish Olympic delegation. Welcome to our program. Good evening Hello. to you. Good evening. You did a great job today. This is your first Olympic. Yeah, it's my first Olympic. So really I'm very happy that I am here. Uh, take part in Olympic Games always was my dream. So now my dreams come true. And I hope in the future also I'm going to play in the next Olympics. Mm -hmm. And the match that we watched were the matches that you played yesterday. How would you score yourself? Uh, one to ten. Uh, yesterday we were playing two matches. Uh, we started in the morning against Germany, so uh, we won 3-1. It was a very good result. We played very good. Uh, in the evening we played the most important match against Romania. Unfortunately we lost 3-2, but it was re really very, very close match. Uh, I, I was playing very good. I think in, uh, from 1 to 10 I, I can at 9, really. I lost uh, with a uh, better player than me, but it's just table tennis sometimes. Oh, it's I, competition, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's competition. Some people, lose, some people win. Yeah, it's true. But you are creating one of the most inspiring stories inside the Olympic Games this time going on here in Beijing. Because you participated earlier in several times Paralympics, and this time you are brave enough to participate in the Olympic Games. Tell us why do you, are you so eager to, despite all the difficulties physically? Uh, of course, uh, always I, wa I wanted to take part in the Olympic Games. I was two times I was before in the Paralympics, so uh, in Athens I won a gold medal in my category. And on this time I'd like to win again, but it will be not so easy like in Athens because I have very good players from, from China, but I hope we're going to meet in final. Uh, I'm playing since ten 12 years, so always I, I was playing with able-bodied person and in the future, I just want to be a very good, uh, good player, mm -hmm. so I know that I have to practice a lot. For me, it's nothing, nothing special that I'm playing with able body. Really, I have, I have no hand, but for me, it's no problem. I just want to play mm -hmm. as good as I can. Well, as, you, as our audience might have noticed, uh, you have lost your right forearm, you know, after the birth. Uh, yeah, 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 I was born like this. So. Yeah. And just imagine how much difficulties a person has to go through in order to play table tennis, which is a sport a largely depends on the hands and the arms. Tell us, how, how can you do that? For example, how would you use the bat? How would you throw the ball? Yeah, it, it can seem difficult, but for me, really, from the beginning, it wasn't difficult. Everything was natural. I, from the beginning, I, I knew how, how I have to stand. I just put the ball on my right hand and I throw it up and, and just serve. Really, it's not so easy. Maybe just here? Yeah, just here. Just here? Oh, yeah. And then you can throw it up? Yeah, I throw it Okay, and you throw back. And I serve, yeah. Really, it's not so difficult for me. Uh, maybe I have not so good bo body balance, but I have strong legs, so I don't feel any difference. You do have very beautiful and strong legs. <laughs> yeah, thank well, you. Well, you have won quite a number of titles, not only in the Paralympic Games, but also in some of the able person games. For example, in Europe, you also have uh, fought against uh, number six in the world. You won her from Singapore uh, earlier this year in February. So, what was it like for you, you know, to participate in those games and really use your ability to the best and win as many opponents as possible. Uh, in uh, January, February, I, I was in China on World uh, Championship, so really I, I was play, playing very good. I beat Li Jiawei. I have never beat before a very good player, so really. She's number six. Yeah, she's number six. She's one from the best players in the world. I think that's uh, impossible is nothing. If we want to do something, it's no problem. We have to just believe in ourselves and try our best, and it's no problem. It's what was it like for you just at that moment when you won her? On the beginning, I couldn't believe that I, I beat her really. It was a very close match. I had 2 0, and afterwards 2 2. So I, w I told that, okay, 2 2, no chance. Mm -hmm. But we, we played very close, and luckily, I won 11th point, so really I was very, very happy. But 
it was just one time. I hope in the future also I'm going to win with very good players. I see you are a very serious player, and you rank at this moment though 147 in the world, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, but okay. I mean, you have won so much titles, and you have got your name already known in the international media. Once again, many people might add, want to ask you, why are you so determined to be in the Olympic Games? Why is this so special for you? What do you think you can gain from here? Uh, I'm 19, so it's my first Olympic, so for sure it's a very good experience for me for the future. Uh, I just want to be a very good player in, mm -hmm. in the future. I, I like to play as long as I can and as good as I can. I know that I have to practice a lot and maybe, maybe after in the future my, uh, my dreams come true. I just, I just want to play as good as I can. Mm -hmm. And certainly participating in the Olympic Games is one of the best ways to meet the most ex excellent players and learn from them. Yeah, for sure. It's a very good experience. On the Olympic take part, uh, the best players in the world, so I can learn from them. I played here three, three matches against Germany, against Hong Kong, and about against Romania. So. Uh, the girls are, are better than me, they are, they are higher than me in world ranking list mm -hmm. and even I played close matches with them so it shows that I, I have chance with the best players in the world so the difference is not so, not so big. Not at all, yeah. not at all and we are talking to a very brave girl here, Natalia Pacika from Poland. She is a member of the Polish table tennis team this time for the Olympic Games in Beijing. She has an inspiring story to tell. We're going to continue our story about her right after this break. We'll be right back. For 17 days, the world's finest athletes will compete in Beijing. For 17 days, the Chinese capital will celebrate as never before. For 17 days, we'll bring you the action around the venues. Join us this August for 17 Days on CCTV International. TV International and Tianwei sitting in the studio right across the street from China's National Stadium with one of the outstanding athletes attending China's Olympic Games this time here in Beijing, Natalia Partika. He is, she is one of the most outstanding table tennis players from Poland. Natalia, I want to ask you about this because you are already very skillful with the way you are playing table tennis and you are of the attacking type if I remember right yeah, I was sure. watching your tape uh, uh, two days ago and how would you make sure that you will always have the guts you know to uh, to not only challenge your opponent but also win over them whenever the chance comes uh, you know it's, it's table tennis uh, it's sports so everything can happen uh, Almost all, all players are, are very good, but uh, I think that if I will practice a lot and if I will believe in myself, I, I can beat them. It's no problem. Nobody can win all the time, so I, I believe that one day I'm going to play very good mm. uh, and I, I will win almost 